The Consortium for Graduate Study and Management has an important mission to increase the representation of African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Native Americans in top business schools in the United States and in the ranks of global management across sectors. Over 20 member schools belong to the consortium, including Stanford, Kellogg, Columbia, Darden, Michigan Ross, UNC, and more. Notably, MBA candidates who have demonstrated or supported the consortium's mission in their academic, professional, and or personal life can apply to multiple member schools through a single streamlined process, a common app of sorts. In doing so, advocates of diversity and diverse applicants themselves can be considered for consortium membership, which gives them access to invaluable networking opportunities and professional resources. Additionally, members can earn consortium fellowships from one or more member schools. Let's answer some questions you might have about applying to the consortium. One, should I apply to business school through the consortium? Yes, if you have a proven record of promoting inclusion at school, at work, and or in your personal life. Specifically, we mean inclusion of African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and or Native Americans. Please note, being a member of one of these groups is not a requirement for being accepted to the program. In fact, about 20% of candidates accepted as members do not belong to any of these groups. However, a track record of supporting these groups is a must. Also, to be eligible for consortium membership, you have to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. If you meet these requirements, check the list of member schools on their website to see if you want to apply to one or more of them. Only full-time MBA applicants can apply through the consortium. Part-time or executive programs are not included. Two, what elements does the consortium application include? As mentioned, through a single application, you can apply to multiple member schools. The standard common elements are the application form, the test score report, your transcripts, and your resume. The application also requires three letters of recommendation. This includes two professional recommendations, which will be seen by only the member schools, and one recommendation that speaks to how you supported the consortium's mission. This recommendation will be seen by only the consortium itself. In addition, there are two core consortium essays, three membership essays, and supplemental essays for each member school. It's a lot of work, but then again, it's a common app. Three. Can you tell me more about all of those essays? Sure, let's start with the two core consortium essays. The first core essay, which is required, asks you to write about your post-MBA goals and what drives them. The second core essay is optional and is for sharing additional information that you feel the admissions committee needs to be aware of. These two essays will be seen by the consortium and by the member schools. Then there are three membership essays. They ask you how you supported the mission of the consortium in the past how you plan to do so while in business school, and how you envision living the consortium's values in your post-MBA life. These essays will be seen only by the consortium itself. Finally, the member schools require supplemental essays, which only each school will see. Four, what are some tips for the essays? First, the core essays. The required essay asks, please describe your short and long-term goals post-MBA. How has your professional experience shaped these goals and influenced your decision to pursue an MBA degree? Explain not only what your goals are, but why. What motivates you? How have your experiences to date made you realize what path you want to pursue in the future? And why do you need an MBA to achieve them? Answer the prompt thoroughly while offering insight into your personality and value. The second core essay asks, is there any other information you'd like to share with us? It's not presented elsewhere in your application. This is not an invitation to share additional stories, but rather a place to address areas of concern, such as a low GPA, plans to retake a standardized test, or an employment gap. If you don't have anything to address here, just leave it blank. If you do, be concise. You'll only have 1,000 characters. On to the membership essays. The first question asks you to explain what you've done so far that aligns with the mission of the organization in 2,000 characters. Identify your relevant professional, academic, and personal experiences. Perhaps you've made your mark in your company's or university's diversity and inclusion department, recruited employees from underrepresented groups, or contributed to a nonprofit whose mission focuses on racial equity. Then, provide specific examples of what you've done and the impact impact you've made. As you're writing, note exactly which group or groups have benefited from your efforts. Again, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Native Americans. The second question asks you what you plan to do in the MBA program to support the mission also in 
2,000 characters. Research your target programs thoroughly to find existing activities, groups, and events that align with your abilities and interests as well as the organization's goals. Also consider opportunities that are lacking at your selected schools that you could establish. This way you'll be equipped to make a specific case for how you'll uphold the consortium's values in business school. The third question asks you to describe your future commitment to the mission in 1,000 characters. Think about ways you'll support the mission at work or in your personal life. Examples include leading diversity and inclusion efforts at your company, serving on the board of a nonprofit aligned with the consortium's mission, or even giving back to the consortium itself. For more tips on how to approach these essays, please visit the essay tips section on our blog on the MBA Mission website. Five, all right, question five. Is there any downside to applying via the consortium? Great question, no. The consortium membership decisions and the school's admission decisions are separate. So even if the consortium declines to offer you membership, this won't have any bearing on your chances of being accepted to member schools. By applying to the consortium, you're not only giving yourself a chance to be considered for membership and fellowships, but you're also taking advantage of the streamlined application process and reduced application fees. So even if you're not completely sure if you're a strong fit for the consortium, let the consortium decide. You truly have nothing to lose by applying through this channel. Six, do all applicants except to the consortium get fellowship awards? No. After schools make their admission decisions, they decide which of their accepted candidates who are granted consortium memberships get awarded a fellowship. Schools award fellowships on the overall strength of the applicant's profile and application. Seven, how can I learn more? Visit cgsm.org for more details on the application process, deadlines, and how to register for informational webinars. And again, check out MBA Mission Essay Tips for the Consortium Core and Member Essays and the school's supplemental essays on our blog. For information on specific business schools, check out our How to Get into Top Business Schools playlist coming up next.